LeBron James isn't who you think he is. Addictions, million dollar scandals, almost dying in a plane crash. These are 10 things you didn't know about LeBron. And first up, the time he ruined someone's life over a Facebook post. The situation started with this play. And even though it wasn't LeBron's craziest dunk, after the game, he posted a picture of it on Facebook. But by the time it racked up a few thousand likes, the photographer who took the pic, Steve Mitchell, turned LeBron's post into a legal battle. Mitchell typically uploads his photos online where you can purchase a license to use them. So when he saw LeBron posted his pic all over social media for free, Mitchell contacted his lawyer to sue LeBron for copyright infringement and demanded $150,000 for the damages. Now, I'm not even sure why a lawyer would take this case, knowing LeBron literally posted a picture of himself. And when LeBron heard about the lawsuit, he felt Mitchell was just trying to secure an easy bag and waste his time. So he countersued Mitchell for a million dollars, sending the dude into bankruptcy. Look at LeBron, man, dubbing people on the court and in the courtroom. But that's just one of the 10 craziest stories of LeBron James' career. So let's take things to another level, where one destructive decision cost LeBron $50 million. After LeBron's losing season with the Lakers, he traded away damn near the entire team for Anthony Davis. At first, this seemed amazing until LeBron realized this move was secretly about to cost himself millions. See, LeBron knew that throughout Anthony Davis' entire career, he'd always worn the number 23. And obviously on the Lakers, LeBron already wore the number, but he knew how significant it was to AD. So to show AD some extra appreciation for coming to LA, LeBron passed him the jersey number. But as soon as LeBron revealed AD was becoming the new 23, LeBron got a surprise call from Nike, and they broke some horrible news. Apparently, the next season's NBA fan gear was already made, including millions of LeBron Laker jerseys with the number 23. So the only way he could switch numbers was destroying all of the inventory. And just think, NBA jerseys can run you at least $50 each. So LeBron decided to wait it out. He stuck with 23, forced AD to settle on number 3, and the next year, when LeBron could officially switch his number, AD realized he didn't even want 23 anymore. Damn, imagine if LeBron spent 50 million dollars for no reason. Well, that still wouldn't be as bad as the injury that completely changed LeBron's life. At St. Vincent St. Mary High School, a 17-year-old LeBron was already on top of the sports world, because not only was he dominating basketball, he was becoming an even more legendary football player. On the field, nobody had ever seen anything like LeBron. From his sophomore to junior year, LeBron racked up over 100 receptions, 23 touchdowns, and was already being compared to NFL legends. So with D1 offers rolling in, LeBron's future was 50-50. He was either going pro in football or basketball. And because he loved both sports, LeBron just couldn't make a decision until a summer league game, his fate was decided for him. As LeBron ran down court on a fast break, he slammed it like he'd done a million times. But this time, LeBron suffered a devastating injury and was rushed to the hospital. Right when LeBron arrived, the doctors realized something horrifying. LeBron's wrist was completely shattered. So doctors let LeBron know he wouldn't be able to play sports for at least two months. Now, LeBron was faced with a life-changing ultimatum, football or basketball. If he returned to the field, he'd be risking another injury, ruining all chances of making the NFL or NBA. So with the media attention at an all-time high and having an entire family depending on LeBron, he made a decision nobody saw coming. LeBron knew about the NBA's strict draft eligibility, including a rule that required all teenagers to graduate high school and be at least 18 years old. But LeBron knew playing against jealous high schoolers put a target on his back. So not long after his injury, LeBron petitioned to drop out of school and join the NBA early. But the league felt approving his request could spark a worldwide controversy. So LeBron was denied. Now being forced to play out his senior year, LeBron knew it was now or never to secure his spot in the NBA. But little did he know, he was making the biggest mistake of his career. 
See, when LeBron returned to the court, not only did he put up the best numbers of his life, he led his high school to their third championship in four years and officially became the world's top prospect. All that success set LeBron up to be the top pick of the 2003 NBA Draft, but that's when LeBron realized that extra year of high school was actually a curse. During LeBron's 2002 high school season, the NBA was a completely different place. One team was astronomically worse than every other franchise, the Cleveland Cavaliers. They were on pace to end their season winning less than 20 games, which would almost guarantee them the number one pick in the draft. So with Cleveland being LeBron's hometown team, he should have been hyped. But after the Cavs invited him to their workouts and games, LeBron realized just how horrible the team was and why their arena was so empty. He did not want to be a Cavalier, but the decision wasn't up to him. Eventually, Cleveland finished the year 17-65, securing the number one pick. And when draft day came, it was official. LeBron was now a Cleveland Cavalier. But little did he know, joining this team would almost get him killed. And now that we're getting into the top five craziest stories of LeBron's career, let's take things to a whole new level. Throughout the first three seasons of LeBron's career, he put the Cavaliers on his back and developed into one of the NBA's greatest scorers. So, he was voted into the 2006 NBA All-Star Game. But that's where things turned deadly. Coming into All-Star Weekend, LeBron and his Cavs teammates had a simple flight plan. Hop on the team plane, fly from Cleveland to Detroit, then head to the All-Star event in Houston. But right when LeBron took a look at the plane, he already knew something was wrong. I had always complained about our team playing. It was old, it was run down, but I always felt like something could actually happen to this plane. Up to this point, nobody took LeBron's fear of flying seriously. Besides, takeoff was smooth, the plane was in the air, and this was something everybody had been through a hundred times. But halfway through the flight, the lights began to flicker, and in came the turbulence. The pilots went into a panic, and as soon as they saw the smoke, everybody feared for their lives. Every single body on the plane from Detroit to Houston thought they were going to die. We looked into the kitchen at one point in the flight, and there was smoke coming out of the kitchen. The plane came in hot, and luckily, the team landed safely. LeBron knew that day could have been his last, so when he hopped off the flight and made his way to the stadium, he made sure he dominated the All-Star game, securing both the win and the MVP. But even almost dying ain't as crazy as the psychotic fan who impersonated LeBron's dad just to rob him of millions of dollars. See, LeBron went his entire life without knowing his real father. And being left in the dark, LeBron shared his feelings with the world. You know, my whole life growing up, I think I just kind of always said, why me? You know, why me? Why wasn't, why didn't my dad want to be around? Once LeBron made the NBA, he shrugged off the thought of his dad and focused on becoming great. And at first, it looked like nothing could stop LeBron until he randomly got hit with a life-changing scandal. July 8th, 2010. On live TV, LeBron announced a decision that made him one of the most infamous people on the planet, signing to the Miami Heat. And this became one of the most viral moments in sports history. So it was the perfect time for LeBron's dad to make his own headline. Out of nowhere, a man named Lester Bryce Stovall claimed he was LeBron's father. But not only that, he was suing LeBron and his mom Gloria for $4 million because of a DNA cover-up scandal. And the entire situation started 26 years earlier. March 15th. 1984. Lester claimed he showed up at the DC Space Bar and met LeBron's mom. She claimed she was in her 20s and looking for a good time. So eventually, Lester took her home and described the situation with Gloria as intimate. But later that night, Lester was ashamed of his performance and decided to leave without any intentions of contacting Gloria again until a few weeks later. It was Gloria and she was pregnant. At that moment, Lester just couldn't believe it. So all he told Gloria was, well, if he's mine, make sure he plays basketball and hung up. And keep in mind, this was the end of March, nine months before December. And when was LeBron eventually born? 
December 30th, 1984. But it wasn't until 23 years later, Lester regretted that phone call. December 5th, 2007. The time had finally come that Lester realized he messed up. LeBron was now dominating the NBA and became a multi-millionaire. So Lester called up Gloria. He apologized and even tried reconnecting with her and LeBron. But it was too late. Gloria wanted nothing to do with Lester. And since she knew LeBron turned himself into a star, she not only didn't want Lester to come around, she apparently threatened to get Lester beat up if he ever called again. But a few days later, LeBron heard about the call and desperately wanted to know if this man was telling the truth. So, they agreed to a DNA test. The results came in the mail. Lester was not the father. Or so LeBron and Gloria made it seem. Lester felt something shady went down with the tests, and believed LeBron and Gloria tampered with them to cover up the evidence. Lester claimed he looked exactly like LeBron. They had the same body types, same height, uh, yeah, uh, we're approximately the same height. Hell, in basketball, they even dunked the same, and that there was no way he wasn't LeBron's father. So Lester filed a $4 million lawsuit against LeBron and Gloria for fraud, defamation, and misrepresentation. The claims went back and forth, but LeBron refused to comment. And finally in 2011, a judge analyzed the story and felt Lester was trying to make a quick buck just for being LeBron's dad. So the case was dismissed, and LeBron never acknowledged Lester again. To this day, LeBron still doesn't know who his real dad is. I just wonder if that's what led to LeBron's addictions. Or maybe it was this year's nightmare season. Because LeBron's Laker teammates were so bad, he had no choice but to put players half his age on his back and carry them all year long. Like, how is that even possible? He's 37 years old. Well, it turns out, LeBron's been hiding things. And recently, he revealed his secrets. LeBron can't go a single day without watching hoop flicks. Yeah, even LeBron's a fan. So if you want to be the next LeBron James, subscribe. Anyways, LeBron also said, I'll go home, drink wine, or drink tequila every night. It doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters to me. Uh, yeah. Can you really blame LeBron for drinking every single night when he's got teammates who do this? Even when LeBron's on the bench, he needs alcohol. Now that's crazy, but at least nobody almost died. Like the time LeBron had to save an NBA legend's life. Right after LeBron lost the 2015 finals, he needed to take his mind off basketball. So he hit up his boys Dwayne Wade, Chris Paul, and Carmelo Anthony for a trip to the Bahamas. But little did LeBron know, this trip was about to turn into one of the scariest moments of his life. Right when the boys flew in, they all figured it was time to celebrate, drink and wine. And that's when they came up with a brilliant idea to head into the ocean on a banana boat. But as they made their way deep into the water, that's when the wind and the waves picked up, where all of a sudden, <laughs> Carmelo was drowning. Everybody had to think fast. And with LeBron being the only one who could swim, it was up to him to save the day. He jumped off the boat into the water. He was bringing me back with one with one arm. Now he saved my life. I, I, I can't hold you. He saved my life. He saved my life. Damn, saving players on and off the court. <laughs> but even that ain't the craziest LeBron story you'll ever hear. What if I told you that over the last few years, LeBron's been dropping hints that he's leaving the NBA? We've already seen LeBron trying out other opportunities, making and delivering pizzas, acting in movies, but LeBron's always kept his eyes on another profession. In 2011, he made a secret $6 million investment in a Liverpool's football club. And when the news broke, nobody thought much of it. But all along, there's been a deeper plan. You know, if I put all my time uh, into the sport, uh, professional soccer, I think I will be able to do it. Now, many people took that as a joke, but ever since that announcement, LeBron's been spotted visiting their stadium, rocking their gear, and one of Liverpool's own players even offered to give up the number six for LeBron to come and join their club. Ironically, right after, LeBron received his own Liverpool jersey and randomly posted it on Facebook. He even let the coach know he'd be happy to join them on the field whenever. See, LeBron's stake in Liverpool has always been bigger than just an investment. That's why he's been right by Liverpool's side, tweeting about their success and celebrating their championship wins. 
But what really made LeBron's secret plan obvious is when he posted Liverpool's logo on Instagram. And shortly after, Nike announced LeBron's very own Liverpool clothing line. Everyone knows that at this point in LeBron's career, he's only chasing two things, championships and his idol Michael Jordan. And what did MJ do at the end of his own career? Join another sport. LeBron's known all along that if his mission with the Lakers failed, he'd have another opportunity. And that's why even when he's playing basketball, he's wearing Liverpool kits. So joining their club helps him accomplish all of his goals. And joining pro football, that might just be the craziest thing that's happened to LeBron's career since he got embarrassed by a rookie. Or the time a player humiliated LeBron so badly, the footage got deleted off the internet. And I know you want to hear more about that. So just click this video right here.